do you know that you're less likely to participate in something that's free because you haven't invested in it? Even if it's a dollar, you're more likely to show up for something that you paid for than something that's just free, something was just given. You know, if there's something free on YouTube that was supposed to start at 9, but you didn't pay for it, you're okay trickling in at 9.05 or 9.10 or maybe we'll catch it later or catch the replay. But if it's something that costs you, say, 100 bucks, there's no way you're missing that because you're like, well, I paid for this. It's like an, an innate um, thing inside a lot of us that we don't want to waste time or money or any of that. So investing in yourself and investing in accountability will keep you accountable naturally. Your credit card statement comes after you swipe it. That's accountability. <laughs> it's like, oh, you bought this. Now it's time to pay for it. Um, I'd like to help with that. I'd like to help with that. Why? Because, okay, first of all, have you guys read the book? I know I'm always reaching into my drawer. You seen this before? Anyone? <laughs> it's my book. And in there, there's actually a chapter about a whole chapter. I found it worthy to write an entire chapter about accountability in this book. Have you read it? I think you should. If you like to listen, you could go to Audible and get a listening copy if you have Audible. But there's a whole chapter in here about accountability because it's so important for your success. Doing things alone or doing things willy-nilly without a plan. Now, I'm not a super structured person, just going to be honest here, full transparency. Um, I like to kind of be flexible and a little bit fly by the seat of my pants and a lot of bit of, of scheduling. I have a team. I have to adhere to certain schedules. I have a family and I can't just do whatever I want whenever I want. Of course, most of us don't have lives like that. So we have to live in some sort of structure, um, even if it's a flexible structure. So I enjoy a flexible structure. I do have uh, certain office hours, certain days of the week that I'm working and doing certain things. And I decided to build that into what I call a launch a bundle in a month, for every month. And this is what I taught in the hub back in January. And then I heard from one of the hub members, Megan, recently. So it's been about seven months now. It's like we're into August. Um, so full a full seven months. And she reached out and she was like, okay, so in January, you know, you, you talked about this goal setting and how to build a bundle in a month. And I decided I've just got to go with it. And she's like, it changed everything for me. She's like, I have been building a bundle every month since then. I had now have six bundles since the end of January because she followed the structure that I gave her. It was, it's not super structured. It's like, there's one task per day for five days. And it breaks it down into what do you do every day until you launch a bundle? There's a task list. And so one of the suggestions from one of the clients was like, oh my gosh, could you maybe do these live, live classes? Like even, not just the checklist is, is accountable, but there's not accountability in there. It's just kind of a checklist. If I do it or don't do it, no one's kind of peeking over my shoulder. So after speaking with so many clients and talking to a few of them, and then the suggestion of, hey, is there any way we can sort of do this live so I can quote unquote, turn in my paperwork, you know, sort of thing. And accountability is so important. And what was needed most 